السلام علیکم وعلیکم السلام ایم آئی آڈیبل یس اوکے ان لاسٹ کلاس وی ڈسکس اباؤٹ دی ڈینسٹی اینڈ دا میتھڈ ہاؤ ٹو میجر دا ڈینسٹی اینڈ ان دا پریویس کلاسز وی ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا ماس دا ویٹ ڈفرینس بٹوین ماس اینڈ ویٹ دا فارمولا ٹو فائنڈ آؤٹ دا ویٹ اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو سالو دی کوشچن ریلیٹڈ ٹو ماس ویٹ اینڈ ڈینسٹی رائٹ اوکے سو کوشچن نمبر ون از اے بریک از پلیسڈ آن اے نیوٹن میٹر فسٹ آف آل میمورائز آل دی ٹرمس آل دی ایس آئی یونٹ اینڈ آل دی میجرنگ انسٹرومنٹس وی ڈسکس ان آر ٹاپک ریلیٹڈ ٹو ماس ویٹ اینڈ ڈینسٹی سو ان دس کوشچن So in this question, a brick is placed on a Newton meter. So they are talking about Newton meter and then on a beam balance. So basically there are two different instruments. One is beam balance. Second one is Newton meter. First of all, tell me what is the use of Newton meter and what is the use of beam balance? By Newton meter, we can measure the weight. Yes. By using Newton meter, we measure the weight. Okay, by and by beam balance, we measure the mass of an object, right? To measure the weight. We, yes. Newton meter to measure the weight and the beam balance to measure the mass, right? Yeah. Okay, so the question is the same. What is measured by each is each instrument? So you just need to identify that these two instruments measure which quantity so you already know that newton meter measures the weight and beam balance measures the mass so newton meter weight and beam balance mass option c right and if you have any confusion in any question you may ask i will repeat the statement okay let's try to solve further question Question number three, yes. Question number three, the mass of a stone is found on earth using a pen balance. The weight of the stone is found using a Newton meter. So basically we uh, find out the weight of a stone using a Newton meter and mass of a stone is found on earth using a pen balance. And question is, are the readings the same or different on the moon? Initially, they are talking about the Earth, and now they are talking about Moon. So, is there any difference in the readings of mass and weight on both planet, or we can say that which quantity mm -hmm. will remain same, or which quantity will be variable? Mass will remain same. Mass remains same. Okay. So mass remains the same. And what about the weight? They, uh, weight we can... Uh, Depends uh, upon the gravitational force, right? Yeah, it can be. Okay. So which option is the right? Uh, the mass. Reading on pan the balance. Mass. First of all, we need to find out reading on pan balance. So reading on pal, pan balance will remain same, right? Because... It helps us to measure the mass. Yes. And Newton meter helps us to find out the weight. So we know that weight will be different. Mass remains same. So option B, right? Yes. Any confusion? Question number four, the table shows the weights and masses of four objects on different planets. On which planet is the gravitational field strength the largest? What is the symbol for gravitational field strength? First of all, you need to identify what is the symbol for gravitational field strength. Mm 
belum tuh di Okay, so we are talking about the symbol for the gravitational field strength is small g, right? And you need to find out that uh, on which planet the value of g will be greatest or largest. So how we can find out the lar uh, largest value for g? अच्छा सानिया आपको कोई कंफ्यूजन तो नहीं है कैलकुलेशन में सिंबल्स में आवाज आ रही है आपको मेरी Okay, so we are talking about this question and you need to find out that which planet has the largest value of a small g. So how we calculate the value of g? Any idea? Okay. अच्छा अगर कोई भी कंफ्यूजन हो किसी भी क्वेश्चन में कैलकुलेशन में कोई भी पार्ट में आप भले चैट में लिख देना मैं रिपीट कर दूंगा ठीक है ऐसा ना हो कि हम क्वेश्चंस भी सॉल्व कर लें और कंफ्यूजन रहे तो फिर फायदा नहीं है ठीक है तो जहाँ कंफ्यूजन हो फौरन बता देना ओके अच्छा इसमें आप कैलकुलेशन uh, कैसे करोगे बेसिक आइडिया क्या यूज करोगे आप लार्जेस्ट वैल्यू ऑफ जी Or in given values we have weight and mass. Hmm. So any idea कि कौन सा formula use होना चाहिए? अच्छा देखो इस पर हाँ weight का formula आप use करोगे W equals to mg. So this is hmm. the formula to calculate the value of g. And mass will be divided on left hand side W over m equals to g. Right? ये cross multiply हो जाएगा. So W over hmm. m. Now you just need to divide the values one by one, and let's see which option will give you the largest value of G. So in option one, uh, let's suppose if we are talking about option A. So according to the formula, you need to divide two uh, by twenty, and in option B, you need to divide four by thirty. Same for C and D. And let's see which option will give you the largest value of G. So, which option giving you the largest value? A, B, C, or D? D. D. Okay. Let me check. A divided by fifty will give you zero point one six. And six divided by forty. Zero point one five. Four divided by thirty. Zero point one three. Two divided by twenty. Zero point one. So we are getting largest value in option D. So mm. eight weight and mass fifty is the right answer. Okay. Now let's try to solve some questions related to density. Okay, so this is uh, related to density, but this question is in a graph form. So mm. the mass and volume of four different objects are plotted as shown. Which object has the smallest density? So first of all, जब वो आपसे question पूछे तो main theme जो question की है वो ये है कि हमने smallest density find out करनी है. A smallest density का मतलब ये कि पहले आपको density का formula याद हो. So mm. what is the formula for density? density is equals to the mass upon volume mass upon volume 
and if we are talking about the smallest density so smallest density means volume should be greater or less if you remember in last class we discussed that density is directly proportional to mass so if mass mm. will increase density will automatically increase and density is inversely proportional to volume so if mm. volume increases so density will decrease mm. so uh we need to find the smallest density smallest density means we need to select a uh, less mass and greater volume right ji mm. so that will give us the smallest density because if we increase the mass so density will increase so in this question we need to select a small value of mass and a greater value of volume mm. because mass is inverse is directly proportional so if we decrease the mass density will automatically decrease and volume is inversely so if we increase the volume so density will automatically mm. decrease okay. so which option in the graph gives you the smallest density the smallest volume mm. is 5 right mm. because 5 is the smallest value 10 is the largest value because two points mm. are on 5 cm cube and two points are on 10 cm cube so we need to select the mm. largest volume so it means that we need to select from b or d right because mm. greatest or largest volume means we need to select between b and d so we have two choices now we need to select mass but mass should be small because density is directly proportional to mass so if we decrease the mass density will automatically decrease mm. so b is the right choice or d mm. d d so in option d you know uh, volume is equals to 10 cm cube right mm. and mass is equals to uh, 10 g right so mm. if you want you can calculate by using the formula for your satisfaction because now we are practicing and this was the first time we are solving the question so mass is equals to 10 and volume is equals to 10 so we are getting 1 right 1 mm. uh 1 gram per centimeter cube and let's suppose if we select b so in option b mass is will be equal to 20 divided by 10 mm. so it means density will be greater right so option d is the right choice okay oh. any confusion no no okay which statement about mass is correct question number 6 b b okay so which is statement about mass is correct mass is weight multiplied uh, by gravitational field strength actually in option uh, sorry mass is the amount of space occupied by a bo body amount of space oh so volume hota hai na okay so mass ke bare mein humne ye to padha hai ki मैटर के बारे में हमने बल के पढ़ा है दैट है इन दिस स्टेटमेंट बिकॉज वी नॉट स्टडीड अबाउट दी फोर्सेज और हमने अभी फोर्सेज और वो स्टडी नहीं किया तो इसमें आपको थोड़ा सा कंफ्यूजन होगा इसमें राइट ऑप्शन आपके पास होगा डी मास रजिस्टर चेंज इन मोशन एंड ऑप्शन डी इज राइट इन देंस लेट सपोज इफ देर आर टू ऑब्जेक्ट वन इज टेन के जी एंड सेकेंड वन इज हंड्रेड के जी so which object is easy for you to uh, push or pull 10 kg or 100 kg kis object ko push ya pull karna hmm. easy hoga 10 kg 10 kg so it means mass resists a change in motion so <coughs> jo hum push karna hmm. cha rahe hain basically hum use rest to motion mein lekar aana cha rahe hain lekin due to a heavy mass or due to a greater mass we are not able to drag that object or not able to push that object right 
So that's why option D is the right choice. Uh, op question number seven: A student produces some revision notes on gravity, mass, and weight. Which statement is not correct? A uh, gravitational field is a region in which a mass experiences a gravitational force. That is right. Gravitational field strength has the unit of newton per kg. That is right. Mass is a measure of the amount of matter. Uh, that is also right. Mass is equal to the weight multiplied by gravitational field strength. So that is not correct, right? Option D. Because hmm. according to option D, uh, they are saying that m is equals to W multiplied by G, but mm. we know the formula. Formula is W equals to m G. Mm. So D is the right choice. Okay. So, uh, let's see some other questions. Okay, question number eleven. So, in question number eleven, a stone has a mass of three ninety grams. So, mm. this is the mass of a stone, a small m. And a density, so rho is the symbol for density. Cooking oil has a density of zero point nine gram per centimeter cube. So in first stage they are talking about a stone, and in second stage they are talking about cooking oil. And cooking oil has a density of ah uh, zero point nine zero gram per centimeter cube. This is the density of oil, and this is the density of stone. Which mass of oil has the same volume as the stone? so you need to select a mass because density is already mentioned hmm and they are asking about which mass of the oil has the same value of volume as the stone so we need to uh, balance the volume of both stone and cooking oil question mein wo aap se pooch rahe hain ki cooking oil ki density given hai stone ka mass aur density given hai aapne in dono ka volume same karna hai so which quantity of mass will give you the same volume as the stone to so, sabse pehle batao what is the volume of the stone jab dono ko balance karna hai to hame value to pata honi chahiye so what is the volume of the stone l multiply by b multiply by x yes so we need to use the formula again right so we know that hmm. density is equals to mass over volume and we need to find out the volume so we cross multiply these quantities so volume will be equal to mass over density and we are solving for stone right now not for the oil so for stone we know that mass is equals to 390 grams divided by density is equals to 2.7 and we are getting 390 divided by 2.7 so 144 round off gram per centimeter cube so basically this is the volume so how uh, you find the mass of the oil because we find out the volume of the stone this is the volume of a stone and now you need to find out for a uh, cooking oil so what is the procedure to find out the or to select the mass from the given option any simple idea or simple way that how we find out the mass of the oil to balance the volume of both quantities what is the simplest method to divide okay okay you don't need to uh very much about this because you know the formula remains same for density we have single formula for mm. density that is mass over volume and how many quantities in formula are there three quantities right density mass and volume mm. so you know that if two quantities are already given so we can easily find out the third quantity right 
Yes. So we already solved the uh, volume for the stone. And if we need to find mm -hmm. out the mass for the cooking oil. So for cooking oil, mm -hmm. we know that we again use the same formula, mass upon volume. And we need to find out the mass, right? Because we know volume remains same according to the condition of the question. Mm -hmm. Because we need to find out the same volume. So for same volume, we know that we just need to find out the mass. So mass will be equal to density times volume. And density of cooking oil is given as 0 0.90. And what is the volume? The same, 144. So we need to multiply this 144 by 0 0.90. That is 130. 130 gram. So option A is the right choice. Okay. So basically this is a simultaneous method. You can also solve in another form if you are good in mathematics. So that step will also easy for you. This is a uh, method number two. You may also solve by using method number one. It's up to you. But if you want to save time, so you may choose method number two. And method number two is we know that volume is same, right? So we consider that volume for oil and volume of stone are same, right? So we simultaneously solve both formula. And if we convert the formula for the volume, so volume will be equal to mass over density, right? So if you convert the formula for volume, density ka, so that will be equal to mass over density right mm. so aap isme simultaneously solve kar lo oil ko ek side pe rakho stone ko ek taraf aur dono ke volume ko equal aap compare karte hue likhoge so mass of oil divided by density of oil is equals to mass of stone divided by density of stone this is for oil and this is for stone right and you know that we need to mm. find out the mass of the oil so this MO is unknown, right? Mm. So if we convert the formula, so formula final formula will be equal to mass of oil will be equal to mass of a stone multiplied by density of oil divided by density of a stone. And the values are mass of a stone is 390. Density of oil is 0 0.90 divided by the density of a stone which is 2.7 and if you perform calculation for second method 390 multiplied by 0 0.90 multiply divided by 2.7 so again you are getting same answer 130 so there are two methods to solve uh, questions like these so it's up to you which formula you choose uh, method one is the simplest one that you follow calculation for the first material then you follow the calculation for the second one and method two when you are good in calculation or if you are good in mathematics step so that will help you to solve answer in short time because time is also very much important in our exam because we know the calculation but you know time if time is short so Question remains unsolved. Any confusion in that question? No. Okay, let's try to solve question number 14. Uh, there are two identical beakers. What is the meaning of identical beakers? Her question may have a hint, Milti Alazmi. Hint up to hold down now. Take a hint up to kya de rai. अब यहां सबसे पहले identical beakers लिखा हुआ है देखने में तो सिर्फ statement है but there is a logic hmm. behind identical beakers what is the uh, logic behind identical beakers contain Or, the same mass of a liquid uh, okay अब यहां तक आपने 50-50 सही कहा क्योंकि उन्होंने सिर्फ beaker के बारे में कहा है they are not talking about for the mass of liquid वो आगे लिखा है same mass of liquid identical beaker means उनकी orientation size same है so it means same volume right उनका volume same है 
मतलब वो एक जितना लिक्विड कंटेन कर सकते हैं सो आइडेंटिकल बीकर मीन्स दे हैव सेम वॉल्यूम एंड आफ्टर दे मैंशन दैट कंटेन्स द सेम मास ऑफ लिक्विड ठीक है सो मास ऑफ लिक्विड इज सेपरेटली मैंशन इन द स्टेटमेंट नाउ देर इज अ डिफरेंट लिक्विड इन ईच बीकर so liquid p is poured in the first beaker this is let's suppose the first one this is the second one and there is liquid q in the second one and there is liquid p in the first one and the question is liquid q has a density of rho this is a symbol let's suppose this is the density of liquid q they are talking about this one right this is the density and they are talking about what is the density of liquid p so what is the density of this liquid that is liquid p and height are also mentioned uh the liquid in beaker q or we can say that the liquid q is uh, three times greater in height as compared to the height of liquid p so let's mm. suppose uh, for simplicity if we write 10 cm let's suppose this height is equals to 10, 10 cm so what is the value for this height it is three times greater it means it is equals to 30 cm right mm. so question is what is the density of liquid so according to the formula you know that mass is directly proportional to density and volume is inversely proportional to the volume so using the same concept that mass is directly proportional to density and volume is inversely proportional to density so try to solve that which what is the right answer for this question then i will tell you that how you solve these types of question because these types of questions are difficult to solve because there are no numerical values given in the question and you need to solve by the conceptual method option a ओके ऑप्शन ए एक आंसर हमें मिल गया ऑप्शन ए और सेकंड अगर मेंशन करना चाह रहे हो आप ऑप्शन सी ए एंड सी तो आप कह रहे हो कि डेंसिटी पी लिक्विड पी की ग्रेटर होगी और रीजन अगर पूछा जाए रीजन क्या बताओगे वट इज द रीजन बिहाइंड इट रीजन भी तो पता होना चाहिए ना हमें ठीक है यहाँ तक आपने आंसर्स बताए लेकिन आप उसकी लॉजिक भी मेंशन कर दो कि आपने क्या लॉजिक यूज की मतलब ये डिवाइड होगा ना अच्छा डिवाइड होगा ओके सो इन लिक्विड पी वी नो दैट हाइट इज लेस एज कंपेयर टू लिक्विड क्यू राइट सो इट मींस दैट द मास ऑफ लिक्विड विल आल्सो डिफरेंट राइट so according to the situation we know that uh, that if we increase the mass so increasing the mass will increase the density right hmm and increasing the volume means uh, decrease in density right so if we increase hmm. the mass so density will increase but if we increase the volume so density will decrease right so according to the situation let's suppose if density of liquid q is simple density symbol so what is the density of liquid p so we know that height increases by 3 times 
and mass is also included three times greater, right? So do you think that density of both liquid remains same? Option B. Because you are uh, looking for one option that height increase three times. So density decrease three times for P and density increases three times for Q. ठीक है अगर आप मास के रेफरेंस से देख रहे हो ठीक है और आप उसको हाइट uh, के रेफरेंस से देख रहे हो तो आपको लग रहा होगा कि वो थ्री टाइम्स या तो बढ़ गया या तो वो थ्री टाइम्स कम हो गया ऐसा ही है लेकिन आप ये भी तो देखो अगर मास बढ़ रहा है ठीक है सो so, आपकी जो है वो वॉल्यूम भी तो चेंज हो रहा है उसकी वजह से आपके पास चेंज नहीं आना चाहिए आंसर में तो आंसर क्या होना चाहिए फिर एक बार दोबारा देखो एक बार और ट्राई करके देखो कि आंसर डिफरेंट आपको समझ आता है या सेम ही नजर आएगा ओके सो द फाइनल आंसर इज दैट डेंसिटी ऑफ पी लिक्विड क्यू इज गिवन राइट एंड हाइट इज इंक्रीज बाय थ्री टाइम एंड वी नो दैट इफ वी इंक्रीज द वॉल्यूम सो डेंसिटी विल डिक्रीज राइट एंड सेकेंड थिंग इज दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द डेंसिटी ऑफ लिक्विड पी एंड लिक्विड पी में आपके पास ये है कि मास आपका डिक्रीज हो गया और वॉल्यूम भी आपके पास क्या हुआ है डिक्रीज uh, हुआ है ठीक है या वॉल्यूम सेम रहेगा ओके सो वॉल्यूम आपका डिक्रीज हुआ है ना यहाँ पर तो इसका मतलब ये कि डेंसिटी इंक्रीज होगी सो डेंसिटी विल बी इंक्रीज बाय थ्री टाइम्स बिकॉज आपके पास यहाँ पे क्लियरली मेंशन था कि वॉल्यूम आपके पास थ्री टाइम्स यहाँ इंक्रीज हुआ है तो इसका मतलब ये कि लिक्विड पी में आपके पास वॉल्यूम थ्री टाइम्स डिक्रीज हुआ एज कम्पेयर टू क्यू So, यहां पर आपके पास थ्री टाइम्स डिक्रीज होने की वजह से वॉल्यूम आपकी डेंसिटी जो है वो थ्री टाइम्स इंक्रीज हो जाएगी क्योंकि डेंसिटी इज इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू वॉल्यूम और आपने वॉल्यूम को डिक्रीज किया बाय थ्री टाइम्स सो डेंसिटी विल ऑटोमेटिकली इंक्रीज बाय थ्री टाइम्स राइट because they mention they contains the same mass of liquid ठीक है तो इस तरह के क्वेश्चन थोड़े से टिपिकल होंगे स्टार्ट में लेकिन ये है कि जब प्रैक्टिस करोगे इस वर्कशीट में
ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन ओके पेपर इज सोल्ड इन पैकेट लेबल्ड एट्टी ग्राम पर मीटर क्यूब दिस मीन्स दैट अ शीट ऑफ पेपर ऑफ एरिया टेन थाउजेंड सेंटीमीटर क्यूब सॉरी टेन सेंटी थाउजेंड सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर हैज अ मास ऑफ एटी ग्राम राइट So, उन्होंने आपको hmm. इस स्टेटमेंट को एक्सप्लेन किया है कि आपके पास 10,000 सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर में 80 ग्राम जो है वो मास हमने डिवाइड किया है राइट अब यहाँ पर hmm. ये चीज याद रखना कि वॉल्यूम नहीं है ये ये एरिया लिखा है उन्होंने ठीक है वॉल्यूम में आपको पता है मीटर क्यूब या सेंटीमीटर क्यूब यूज करते हैं सेकेंड थिंग इज द थिकनेस ऑफ ईच शीट इज जीरो पॉइंट डबल वन मिलीमीटर सो दिस इज ओनली अगल लेंथ एरिया में कितनी आपके पास लेंथ होती है दो तो यहाँ पर आपके पास सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर लिखा हुआ है और यहाँ पर लिखा हुआ है मिलीमीटर तो ये तीन लेंथ को अगर हम कंबाइन कर लें तो दैट विल बी द वॉल्यूम राइट सो व्हाट इज द डेंसिटी ऑफ द पेपर सो अगेन आपने डेंसिटी फाइंड करना है फॉर्मूला तो सिंपल है अब इसमें फॉर्मूला याद रखना आपके लिए इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं है क्योंकि फॉर्मूला तो आप यूज करोगे इसमें बिकॉज कैलकुलेशन का क्वेश्चन है एंड यू नीड टू सॉल्व बाई यूजिंग द फॉर्मूला ऑफ मास अपॉन वॉल्यूम But the problem is that that volume is not given in the simple form, and units are also different. यहाँ पर उन्होंने सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर लिखा है यहाँ पे मिलीमीटर लिखा है ठीक है और आंसर देखो सब किस में ग्राम पर सेंटीमीटर क्यूब तो इसका मतलब ये कि मिलीमीटर को सेंटीमीटर में कन्वर्ट करना है ऐसा ही है तो अब आपको याद होगा कि जब हम यूनिट कन्वर्जन की बात करते हैं so first of all we need to know that are we going to convert large unit into small unit or a small unit into a large unit so millimeter to centimeter so we are going from small to large or large to small small to large small to large right because millimeter is a smaller unit as compared to the centimeter and when we are moving from a smaller unit to a larger unit so what we need to do multiply. divide or multiply multiply this is a, a small unit right hmm. and this is a large unit aapko maine bataya tha ki jab aap badi values ki taraf jate ho to aapka numbers chote hote jate hain lekin value unki same hoti hai right jis tarah hum likhte hain na normally 10k to k ka matlab 1000 10000 तो वैल्यू दिखने में टेन स्मॉल है लेकिन उसके साथ जो प्रीफिक्स लगाए के उसकी वैल्यू बड़ी है थाउजेंड yes. तो जब हम बड़ी यूनिट्स की तरफ जाते हैं तो हमारे नंबर्स लिखने में छोटे हो जाते हैं जिस तरह आपको एग्जांपल दी थी कि अगर आपके पास एक हंड्रेड रुपी नोट हो तो दिखने में तो वो नोट yes. एक है और आप उसी के कंपेरिजन में आप उसका चेंज ले लो टेन टेन के टेन नोट तो क्वान्टिटी दिखने में टेन नोट की ज्यादा है लेकिन वैल्यू दोनों की क्या सेम ठीक है तो जब आप लार्ज यूनिट की तरफ जाओगे तो डिवाइड करते हैं ठीक है सही सो व्हेन वी आर गोइंग टू कन्वर्ट अ स्मॉल यूनिट इनटू लार्ज यूनिट सो वी नीड टू डिवाइड एंड व्हेन वी आर गोइंग टू मूव फ्रॉम लार्ज टू स्मॉल देन वी नीड टू मल्टीप्लाई एंड नाउ वी नीड टू कन्वर्ट मिलीमीटर इनटू सेंटीमीटर सो वी नीड टू मल्टीप्लाई इट बाय 100 और डिवाइड बाय 100 डिवाइड बाय 100 ओके सो नाउ लेट्स ट्राई टू कैलकुलेट द डेंसिटी पहले वॉल्यूम को फाइंड आउट करो और फिर डेंसिटी देखो कितनी आ रही है आपके पास क्योंकि अब वैल्यू कन्वर्ट कर लोगे फॉर्मूला सेम है डेंसिटी इज़ इक्वल्स टू मास अपॉन वॉल्यूम जीरो पॉइंट वन वन मिलीमीटर को हंड्रेड से वन वन सो वी आर गोइंग टेन से डिवाइड करना है क्योंकि हम मीटर में कन्वर्ट नहीं कर रहे हैं सेंटीमीटर में कर रहे हैं ठीक है sure. तो आप इसे डिवाइड बाई टेन करो सेंटीमीटर राइट 
and now according to the formula we need to find out the volume and we know that volume is equals to length multiply by breadth multiply by height right height hmm. so we already have area so we just need to multiply area by length so a multiply hmm. by l will give us the value of the volume and mass is equals to 80 So this will be your final calculation that 10,000 multiplied by 0 0.011, 80 divided by, so which option you are getting? Are you getting option C? Density uh, will be equal to 80 divided by 10,000 multiplied by 0 0.011. So we are getting 0 0.73 round off, right? Hmm. So C is the right option, okay? Hmm. Any confusion? Okay. Any other question?